You are a triple fudge sugar loaf. I love and appreciate you today. We're going to be speaking about something important, friends. Dreaming of higher prices in crypto. You see, most of the time in yield farms, they're traps. 99.9% of the time, they are traps. Why? Most yield farms, they require you to buy the token of a protocol a token that they've just minted. And they say, well, you know what? This is a great token and this is the greatest thing and we're going to be here forever. Well, you end up discovering the hard way, like subscribe, is you end up finding out that they don't really consider the coin to be the greatest thing. The insiders, the VCs, the poopy heads, the scum, the people with hunched backs, people who are sitting on non-squeaky chairs, they dump the coin. And you find this out the hard way in the bear market. There's a difference though. The difference is the PulseX yield farms because the Pulse chain ecosystem is built grassroots. There are no VCs, no secret unlocks. And I think it's wise to dream of a 10X. Now, here's the thing. You don't actually need the yield. So in my post here, I've even started off by saying, Markets are unreliable, but it helps to dream of the next 10x. Now, if you need a 10x in Bitcoin, you might be waiting quite a while because it has 219 million people in it. You're going to need a 3.3x of the amount of people. You need, you need about 600 million people coming in to Bitcoin. The beautiful part is to get a 10x in the Pulse Chain ecosystem, it's only got 200,000 people. Only 200,000 people. We only need an extra 600,000 people, okay? Or 400 to 600,000. Not that many. Compare that to 600 million. Crazy. So the growth is big. Now, this 10x, because you're early, you can think about the yield you would get for a smaller position size compared to someone who was able to get in super early into Hex, into Ethereum, into everything else. So there's great opportunity still here. The example I use is, if today your total US dollar value of the total Richard Hart ecosystem is $25,000, then you will definitely enjoy the next 10X leg. So I'm going to speak about the yield, friends. Yield farming, it is mostly negative EV, right? Negative expected value. It means on average, most of the time, shouldn't be touched. People get wrecked. You will lose to the impermanent loss. And if you're unfortunate, which is what most people are, you will end up chasing yield of a coin where the founders say, oh, this thing's really scarce and it's cool, but it can't last because there's no product market fit. There's no community which is bound together there. And so what ends up happening is what they want you to do is they want you to buy their poop coin and then provide liquidity with real money like Ethereum. And it locks together. So the poop coin and then Ethereum. And here's the thing. You've provided liquidity in the pool. So what you've actually done is you've added Ethereum into the bid side. So Ethereum is sitting there. And then their dirty hands come in. They dump the coin that they got given for free, which is the coin you think is valuable. They dump it into the pool and they extract the Ethereum that you placed in. They do this over time. This is what happens with many coins. I've lost count, countless times this happened. 2020, 2021, two, three, it's going to keep going on. Pulse chain ecosystem has an advantage though. Not only do you have Pulse Chain Layer 1, it's the same dude or duck who made PulseX and the base money hex as well. The ecosystem is bound together. So the liquidity bonding is there. You have everybody with the same spiritual, financial, mental, psychological bonding. All of it is bonded. It's all in the ecosystem, which means there's a no man left behind policy with any coin. Now, obviously, you don't have any guarantee of this, but you can see with the ratios, they move kind of tight. So... With your $25,000 allocation fence, this is what I'm hoping a lot of you can at least try to get to there. You, know, you don't need $25,000 to make it or anything, but I think it's a nice number to dream about because this is the number I use, okay? 
$25,000, if you got a 10X, you have 250K now, right? And you say $25,000 of what? Could be EHEX, PHEX, Pulse, PulseX, any combo, just one of them, it doesn't matter because the yield is all about the same. A conservative yield amount you can get is about 6%. Now, a lot of people will say, well, 6% is unsustainable because, you know, a lot of people from the Wall Street, Copers, Boomer, Stock Market world, they think, oh, their yield is unsustainable. No, no, no. The inflation rate and the yields go down over time. We're just probably in the next four years, 6% won't be on the cards. Maybe it'll be more like 4%. And then in four years after that, it's like 3.5%. Okay, I'm just guessing here, but I'm just showing you they drop down over time. The inflation rate, the yield for Bitcoin mining at the start was a 100%. That's right. You're making a 100% inflation rate. Bang. That's how much Bitcoin is inflating at the start. It went to 100 and then 50 and then 25 like that. Okay. So it started going down the curve. So 6% is still good. Okay. 6% is better than zero. Now, here's the thing. You don't need the 6%, but at 250K, if you're able to get 6% and where you can get it from, okay, this is on the PulseX yield farm. So I don't like venturing out to too many yield farms. The problem is a few people win, super short-term mind, and then they're out. And the optimal time to leave is basically during the bull market top anyway. So it's all about capital allocation. So if you have a window of time, which is what the bull markets are, it's just a window of time where everybody goes nuts. New people come in at an accelerating rate. And then they come in, they run over each other to come firmer, buy green candles. These people come in, it makes everything exciting for like 30, 60, 90 days, and then it's all over. But these people cause this price rush and it fools leverage traders, NFT flippers, yield farmers. It fools everyone to think that the volume is always going to be there because what they've seen happen is emotional money has rushed in without leaving limit order buys. They've come in, they just go, get me in, get me in, get me in. And once they've done all that, eventually it runs out. And then you get to see it sink all the way back. That's why you have the classical Christmas tree chart. Okay, this is in every single crypto. Now, when it comes to yield farms though, of course, you don't need to do this. I think it's just a nice psychological boost to think about, something to dream about because you don't need the yield farm at all. The, the way to win is buying and holding. Also, keeping your back straight, drinking orange juice, one, three, or five ice cubes. Don't forget, I am wearing a bull hat, friends, not financial advice. Go buy stocks or bonds, see how that works out, okay? Now, with the PulseX yield farms, this is the PulseX to Pulse liquidity pair, 7.3%, and this is HEX, right? PHEX to Pulse, it's 13.93%. Now, with these, these numbers will fluctuate. I think a very nice number to rely on is about 5 to 6% because that's what it was during the bear market. Now, if you go to the PulseX website, you'll be able to actually see the farms. I have them right here, okay? And this is where you can come down. Now, obviously, where does this yield come from? All of it comes from our friend without friends incentive token because you get, you know, the incentive token is the thing that gets handed out, okay? But this is where it comes from, okay? So you go to um, gorealdefi.com, which is this website here, gorealdefi.com, and then you can click on exchange and you can click on, you can go and up finding the, the farms where they are up the very, very top, earn farms, and you get to play around, okay? So it's just nice to think about this. If you have 25,000 and then it boosted to 10X, now you have 250,000, and the yield at 6% would give you $1,250 per month. Now, obviously, it's not retirement. It's not, you know, oh, wow, golly gee, I won the lottery. No, no, it's not that. But I think that's a nice, it's a benchmark to aim towards. So why I've thrown this number out is you're going to be in meme coins maybe in the next few months. You're going to be in lottery tickets. Maybe they hit. Maybe we do some paid launch pad ICO projects. Maybe something goes well. Friends, there's going to be a lot of punches in the nuts and guts. We're going to get slapped around. But if we end up making money outside of the ecosystem, outside or within in the altcoins, maybe win the lottery, maybe get lucky, whatever it is, and you have an opportunity to take profit, think about that as your goal to stack more of your core altcoin. That yield, it's a nice carrot on the stick to think of. 
right? Now, you can get this yield, by the way, in Ethereum, okay? The problem, though, with Ethereum, see, Ethereum's give you 5% yield as well. It's about 4 or 5%. The problem, though, is Ethereum to the very top of the cycle might only be a 4x from here. From two and a half, yeah, to like 10 grand. So if you had 25 grand in ETH, at the very top, you'll have 100 grand. And then if you earn 5% in the year, you get 5,000. That's if it stays at the top, you know, friends, it ain't staying at the top. It might drop another 70%. Oh, that's rough. You ain't going to make it. Okay, so that's why a lot of people, they've got like 300 grand in ETH. They're happy with that. They're like, sweet, 300K, give me a nice 4X. Now that's like 1.2 million and I'll be able to earn yield. Because that's the thing, friends. If you're earning 5%, even on 1 million, you're earning 50K a year. That, that's a lot. That's like, wow, passive income. I've won the game. That's their goal. So with Bitcoin, friends, yeah, if you've got 30 million, you're happy with the 2X. You make another 30 million. Sweet. With Ethereum, if you've got 300K, sweet, a 4X excites you. And these types of people, right, they don't want to take too, many, too much risk. But as you go further down the risk curve, right, if you go along it, you see these high opportunities. Now, of course, the game is to figure out which one's the best ones, but I'm just showing you that this is a nice benchmark to think about. So if you're in altcoins, like there are people out there, maybe you've made 25 grand in an altcoin already. Maybe there's like this, there's people out there, maybe they've got three altcoins and they've made like, you know, um, eight, eight and eight, eight grand each. I just want you to think about this. You do have the opportunity right now, okay, in any other altcoin or whatever, just know that. That could be a 10x safe, not not guaranteed, right? Not, not guaranteed, but just high probability. When Pulse Chain goes 10x, you're going to be earning $1,250 per month. You don't have to sell your core altcoin bags at all. You can do that. You can do the hex staking with that. You can do Pulse and Pulse X yield farm. You can do the PHEX, whatever. It doesn't matter. You get 6% yield anyway in the ecosystem and safe. Okay, like much lower risk and everything else. So it's very, very opportunistic for that. Now, here's the thing, right? That's just a 10x. What if it goes 30x? Now we're cooking, right? If it goes 30x, this is why I use these numbers, friends, is if it goes 30x, there'll be significant volatility, okay? So if Pulse Chain goes 30x from here, you might say, wow, my 25,000 will then be earning me per month 3,750. Yeah, but the problem is, yeah, in six months from that point, it could drop another 70%. And now you're back down to 1,000. You know what I mean? That that yield is, is a lot to, to have on your mind, okay? You might just say, oh, sell the top. But are you going to sell the top? Most people aren't, okay? But I'm just showing you this opportunity of passive income, which is what everyone really wants is there. Okay, so we're just starting, right? We're starting. PulseX hasn't even hit day one sack. So I really do hope everything gets 100x, but we aren't guaranteed with that at all, okay? <clears throat> I just think... People out there thinking of, wow, I can draw out $1,000 per month. I think it's a nice like relief mentally to do that. What you end up finding though is when you eventually get there, there's going to be more hurdles to think about. Like, are we too euphoric? And things like, oh, crap. If we drop 70% from here, we're all still doing good. So if Pulse Chain, for example, does a 30x from today, and I can draw it on the chart here, okay, if Pulse Chain does a 30x from today, let's go look at this. Okay. 10x is this is this first bar. But if it does a 30x, okay, we can just grab it and see, all right, this is your, here you go, your 10, 20, 30x, all the way up there, right? 0 0.004. Okay, that's nuts. All the way up there. So you can't even see it, right? That's how big it would be. If it does, look at this. If it ends up going up there. Let's say, okay, Eric all loses his bet. This is like a 30x up here. I want you to know something. Even if it comes back down here, it's still a success. All right? Because look at that drop. That drop is 75, 80%. So if you draw it on a log chart, look at that. It still looks great, doesn't it? It still looks like a hockey stick. But look at that big drop. And by the way, friends, you know everything drops 90%. So look at that 90% bank. So yeah, things could drop 90% down, I mean, right, bank. And look at that, see, it's still a hockey stick, 
But now you get to see the uncertainty of markets because this is how our friend Mr. Silvertooth, unfortunately, he got it, it didn't end well because Mr. Silvertooth had $1 million in hex at the top. And I know a lot of people give him flack for this, but no, he doesn't deserve it. He did the right thing. He did what he was supposed to do. He stayed in the system earning inflation yield. This was in September 2021. He stayed in the earning yield. It's just that the volatility was so freaking insane and so fast before you knew it, it was over. And like when I say before you knew it was over, now let's actually go and dive deep. Let me show you what he had to sit through, okay? Just to show you. He had a million dollars up here. And then look at this, friends. This is September, okay? By 90 days, three months later, look at that. His million dollars is down to 200,000. You see that? In 90 days, his $1 million is down to 200,000. He was earning like, you know, that 7% yield per year. That's what like, that annualized rate is earning. Like, oh, sweet, I get $7,000 per month. I can retire. Everything's sweet. But look at the reality, right? The reality is the volatility is that freaking insane. He's down to 200K, hoping it comes back. Everything gets wrecked after that. So, man, it's very, very vicious, isn't it? That's why I'm just showing you this. It's psychologically nice to think about it, right? But what you might find is if you're not aggressive enough, accumulating your bags, you might get too sweetened by the lifestyle that the yield presents to you at the top. That's why I think it's nice to think about that 10x, but it's very possible, man. We do, we do a 10x from here and then we come back 80%. We come around, okay? So it's not something to go home with, but it is something to just consider, right? You can take advantage of this. Increase your bag size as much as you can. Not financial advice. That's what I've done, right? Because I want you to know that, yeah, I just drew the hockey stick for you, right? Like that that's a sweet, clean win. If we do a 30X and then we came back 90%, everything's still up. Everyone's still technically up, right? Luckily, you feel early, right? Other people are going to be coming in later on that 10X, hoping for 500X, et cetera, all right? So these numbers, these are the real numbers you're dealing with. And I just want you to be prepared with these, with the yield and the lifestyle and all these present because no one else is going to speak to you about it because, you know, because here's the thing, man. At 30X, who's saying we're stopping? No one. Now, what if we do stop? We don't know. So at 30X, what's everyone going to be saying? They go, well, if Hex did a 10,000X, surely this does at least a 100X. So at that 30X, everyone will be saying, oh, well, sweet, we've got another 3X to go. From the top of that point. But what if you experience what Mr. Silvertooth experienced? The next 90 days, you're expecting a 3x instead it's a minus 80% drop. Okay, so these things are not meant to scare you anything. I'm just telling you the reality of the situation when it comes to volatility in these. That's why you can mitigate this stress by increasing your bag size now. I am wearing a bull hat. You are my friend. Just like, subscribe, belly button, or catch you soon.